Hello and welcome to this free track tutorial. I got so many requests that I decided to make a tutorial about the free track software, how to use it, how to set it up. So we will start um, here. Once you started free track, you will get to this window. And first you have to select your camera source. Um, so I just select my camera check the options, make sure you have um, the RGB 24 color spectrum and yeah from the resolution just um, yeah choose what you want. Mm, sometimes it helps to have a lower resolution to have a higher frame rate. That's why I selected 320 and 240. Just click OK. So let's start our camera. I have my three point clip on here, as you can see. So for me, it's already working. I just have this lower FPS now because I'm recording in the background and this takes some CPU power. So my camera setup looks like this. I reduced the brightness to zero and the contrast to one. This helped a lot for me and also I got more gamma and made it a little bit more stable here. Um, yeah, color. I just set it up so it was the most stable and there was no flickering here. I also reduced the sharpening to zero and yeah make sure that you don't have an option for low light enabled because this costs some frame rate as you can see so disable this option if you have it enabled and um, outside inside I think inside reduce the frame rate also a little bit so I set it to outside and yeah don't use some special effects like black and white or something like this um, because this also reduced the FPS for the camera. Okay, once you set it all up, save it. And yeah, now the most important thing is this bar with this you can enable um, control how much light gets in. So set it up so that you can see all the three dots, one dot if you only have one dot. And if you move your head around um, the dots, the points, your LEDs don't cover each other, they don't overlap and everything should work fine. So if you have problems that your LEDs are not recognized, click on the point size button you can select a minimum and a maximum point size so for example if I reduce my maximum it does not recognize the LEDs so I have to set it up to like this and a minimum to like that so everything works fine you shouldn't move your head more than about 20 degrees to cover well all your movements in the cockpit. Um, if you have a low frame rate you can set up um, your actual webcam frame rate and you can set up a multiplier which gives you a higher frame rate. This can make it more stable at all. So if your camera is offset in some directions or it's not working correct you can select it here my camera is working fine. It's directly above the middle of my screen. It's a good position, I think. You also can select, um, yeah, your camera. I don't really know. I let it here on default. It's all default for me. So let's get to the more important stuff. We have the profile. You have all your profile. You can set up a new profile, for example, for or thunder or you can just use the default profile here 
the most important stuff are the sensitivity bars. So I can use sense. Um, this is basically some sort of multiplier how the movement is interpreted in the game. So yeah, here are my settings. I will show you the difference soon. So um, I also selected much smoothing because yeah, I can show you this. If I select no smoothing for join fidge, it's all very direct and quick and yeah, it's it does not feel nice. So I added lots of smoothing and now it's more slower, more easier to control. So this is all default for the output. Take of course the track IR interface and the free track IR interface. That's all you need for War Thunder. And very important, the curves. Right click on every output device and select a dead zone. I have medium dead zones. So even if my head is not completely in the middle, it's yeah centered. It's around the center. So for example, without dead zone or with a small dead zone, it's not that easy to find the the center as if with a large dead zone. You can play around with the curves if you want. I'll add it all to linear and small or medium dead zone. I prefer the medium dead zone. Same for translation, which is your sidewards, up and down, and zoom in, zoom out. Um, for the controls, it's very useful to set a key to center. I have this here on my joystick, so I can just press a button on my joystick to center my free track. So I'm in the center position. And yeah, you can also use a combination to pause, pause it if you want. That might be helpful as well. Mm, very important is that you select the right model you're using. So you have the one single point, the three point clip or cap or four point cap. Select the right one and enter your model dimensions here. This is very important that all your movements get interpreted correctly. Also your model position. So for example here my clip is on my right side of my head. So I selected the right side position here in the horizontal and it's a little bit up. And yeah, you can adjust this all here. So now let's run War Thunder and I show you the different settings. Okay, let's go to test flight. Your um, free track should be recognized automatically by War Thunder. Just start free track first and then War Thunder. Okay, so here we are. Let's see. It's all working fine. I have my center button, so I can center my view, I can go up, down, left, right, I can zoom in and out of course, so yeah, let's 
show you the options. Very important is in the view options you can use zoom with head tracking. You can either enable this or like me I'm using a virtual joystick for zoom access because I like this more and I had this um, back when there was no head tracking zoom support for War Thunder. So I just set it up like this because I had it this way all the time and I'm used to this but yeah you can use the use zoom with head tracking if you like or just set up a zoom axis with virtual joystick so there's no special options to enable free track or track IR because it's enabled by default so you don't have to adjust anything here except the you zoom with head tracking if you like of course the most stuff you have to adjust in free track so let's switch to profile so for example um, yeah I want to look only about 20 25 degree to check my six this is why I set the sensitivity for draw so high to 2.8 so if I reduce it I cannot what check my six because it's just that small movement so I have to set it up to 2.8 again have it all good if you don't like for example the roll this is uh, well that's this stuff here if you don't like this you can just reduce the sensitivity to very low so you don't have roll at all if you like it of course you can set it up high I don't like it so I set it relatively low so I'm not really using it okay so the dead zones are of course very important to have a center on your gun side but yeah this is working good okay so just play around with the settings once you set up your cam properly so you have the three dots I'll just switch to profile and play around with the sensitivities and smoothing so for example if I set smoothing to zero or one this looks like this uh, much too fast it's wobbling around so I set smoothing higher and I can control it very good hmm of course you can invert the axis if you want if you have a problem for example with zoom sometimes or something like this you can invert it okay let me check something it looks like my zoom does not work properly uh, ah, okay it was the wrong axis so now my zoom is working and I can zoom in and out of course yeah I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial um, if you have any problems or questions just ask in the comments I will add a link to a free track site and you have tutorials there how to build a model and how to set it up and the basic stuff but I think I will include my own profile here as well just so that you have something 